everything about the reality that you know as your reality, everything that you are seeing in this world and living in this world, you and everyone else around you, every bit of it is a realization of vibration. So what we're really talking about is interpretation. What we're really talking about is your readiness to see what's always being revealed to you. Because the path of least resistance, the path of most abundance, the path of most fulfillment, the path of most fun, the path of most adventure, the path of most you who you really are, that path is always, always projected with such clarity from those like us who know who you are, who know what you want, who know where you are in relationship to what you want. The question is, are you in the receptive mode? Are you in the receptive mode of the clear path? And the answer to that is a variable. <laughs> and it just doesn't vary from person to person. It varies within you from day to day, from moment to moment. And you can tell what your receptive, what your receptivity, what your receptive mode is about by the way you feel. Your mood is your receptive mode indicator. So if you're discouraged, if you're bummed out, if you're depressed, if you are feeling like a victim, if you're feeling like other people are doing things to you and preventing you from getting what you want or having what you want or being who you want to be, then you've got a vibration going on that is the reason that your path isn't lighting up for you in a clearer way. And clarity, clarity really is what you're shooting for. You know what it feels like when you can't make your mind up about something? Should I or shouldn't I? Uh, that split energy is the most uncomfortable experience of all experiences. Split energy, wanting it and doubting it. That's split energy, wanting it, but not believing that I can have it. Wanting, wanting it and resenting other people who have it. Wanting it and feeling, feeling without it. That's split energy. So then you often say to us, with your words and with your vibration. Well, Abraham, isn't it logical that if I want it and I don't have it, that some part of me must be aware that I don't have it. And we say, yes, the part of you that's keeping you from getting it. <laughs> but Abraham, I want it and I don't have it. Do you want me to look stupid? Yeah. Do you want me to pretend I have it when I don't? Yeah. Do you want me to act as if I have things I don't have? Yes. We want you to find the feeling place of what you want, which means you got to find some way of conjuring it. But if you just stop beating the drum of not having it, that would be enough. You don't have to proclaim things you don't have. It's hard on you in your society. But it would be helpful if you would stop pointing out what's missing all the time. Because when you're pointing out what's missing from your life that you want, you keep the what's missing active in your vibration and you prevent it from coming. So you've got this push pull going on or this pull push thing going on. I want it, but. So you call it, you prevent it, you call it, you prevent it. You ask for it, then you don't allow yourself to see it. And because you don't allow yourself to see it, these are the words we really want you to hear. You sometimes don't allow yourself to see it. You don't allow yourself to see it. Somebody else isn't preventing you from seeing it. Somebody else isn't withholding it from you. Someone else else is not standing there as the obstacle that you make them out to be. Now we know how it feels that they are the obstacle because before they were there, you didn't feel so bad. Before you started tripping over them, you didn't feel so bad. But until you accept that you are completely responsible for your receptivity, you're not responsible for what other people do and other people do a lot of really dumb things. You must stop making those conditions over which you have no control be such a big part of your attention because your attention to what you do not want holds you in a resistant state and keeps you, and this is the operative word, out of the receptive mode. And if you're out of the receptive mode, then it doesn't matter how many clues we're giving. Hey, it's over there. 
Go this way. Go over there. You'll like what you find. Tell me what it is or I won't go. Okay, I'll play your silly. I'll pay the price of happiness if I have to. That's how you act.